this guy works for us and he's gone! He works for you because I told you people to hire him. He's my chauffeur. And he's staying! In Guarding Tess, Nicolas Cage is a Secret Service agent whose job is to guard a widowed former first lady, played by Shirley MacLaine. When she doesn't get what she wants, she turns to the Oval Office. I can tell you that... I'll tell you this, Doug. Any more phone calls from her and you're going to be guarding my dog. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. To the public, she's a national treasure. But for the agents, it's a whole different story. Uh, Doug, this is Bobby and Canned Goods. Are you anywhere near the manager? I need a price check in Lesore Baby Peas. Repeat, Lesore Baby Peas. Cage and McLean often are at odds. But in time, they realize just what they mean to each other. Guarding Tess is directed by Hugh Wilson and is rated PG-13. In the ref, Dennis Leary is a bungling burglar. He ends up holding a married couple hostage. The couple, played by Judy Davis and Kevin Spacey, can't seem to agree on anything. In the meantime, she never finishes anything she starts. Photography courses, existential philosophy courses, Scandinavian cooking At classes. At least I go after my dreams. To be what? Somebody who takes photographs of Lutfish to prove the nothingness of being? If Leary thought they were bad, just wait until he gets a load of the relatives who come over Christmas Eve. The TV's broke. What are we going to do all night? Celebrate the birth of Christ. Now put the presents under the tree. Leary might wish he was spending this Christmas home alone after an evening with this family. He seems to be trapped in a fate worse than jail. The ref is rated R. Another film, another bungled robbery. Paul Hogan plays the title character in Lightning Jack. That's, uh, the Lightning Jack kind. He's a legend in his own mind. Cuba Gooding Jr. plays Lightning Jack's greenhorn mute sidekick, sort of an outlaw in training. Night bit. You're gonna have to suck the poison out. I can't reach it. The film also stars Beverly D'Angelo. Lightning Jack is rated PG-13. With now showing, I'm Jack Womack. Did stop enough blade to kill a normal man. Do you know me? Have you seen my pigeon? Pigeon? What pigeon? The third installment in the Naked Gun series takes flight in Naked Gun 33 and a third, the final insult. After 30 years, Frank Drebin, played by Leslie Nielsen, decides to hang up his bag. Oh, boy. Oh, this is really great. Thank you, guys. Drebin wants to spend more time with his wife, played by Priscilla Presley. But the guys back at Police Squad, led by George Kennedy and O.J. Simpson, just can't seem to get by without him. A terrorist, played by Fred Ward, plans to set off an explosion at the Academy Awards, and the call goes out to Drebin. If we can't stop them, they're going to blow that place sky high. It'll be a tragedy. Unless, of course, it happens during an ass number. Is Hollywood ready for Frank Drebin? Gentlemen, it's my pleasure to present the... We're here to prevent a disaster. You're too late for that. Naked Gun 33 and a third is wall-to-wall -wall jokes. From the first frame to the end of the credits. The film is rated PG-13. Bernard Delaney to take the Lydia Jane Hibbert to be my awful wedded wife. It may not be June, but it's wedding season in the new comedy, Four Weddings and a Funeral. It's the story of friends who seem to get together only at weddings and funerals. So, John, how's that, how's that gorgeous girlfriend of yours? Oh, she's no longer my girlfriend. Ah, dear. Still, I wouldn't get too gloomy about it. Rumor has it she never stopped bonking old Toby Delisle, just in case you didn't work out. She is now my wife. At the age of 32, Charles, played by Hugh Grant, knows he should be attending his own wedding. But he can't bring himself to take the big step. That may change when he meets uh, really Carrie, played uh, by Andy McDowell. Uh, in short, uh, to recap in a slightly clearer version, uh, in the words of David Cassidy, in fact, um, while he was still with the Partridge family, uh, I think I love you. Will the next uh, wedding Charles attends uh, be his own? Uh, yeah, Stay tuned. Four weddings and a funeral is rated R. Uh,
May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Now showing, I'm Don Harrison. In HUD Sucker Proxy, the founder of HUD Sucker Industries jumps out the window. The board of directors, led by Paul Newman, then hatches a scheme to drive stock prices down so they can acquire the company. Their idea? Name Tim Robbins, fresh off the bus from Indiana, to head the company. But their plan goes awry when Robbins has an idea. What an imbecile come up with this his idea the hula hoop takes the nation by storm hudsucker proxy is directed by joel Cohn and is rated pg it's wrong not for today it's not tomorrow it's wrong we only have to be right for a day people will read this alicia and they'll believe us in the new ron howard film the paper michael keaton is a new york editor working against deadline to get a story that would free two youths wrongly charged with murder his managing editor, played by Glenn Close, cares less about the truth than getting the paper printed on time. Boy, what, what if these aren't the guys? What if they're innocent? We taint them today, we make them look good on Saturday. Everybody's happy. <laughs> the film also stars Robert Duvall, Randy Quaid, and Marissa Tomei as Keaton's very pregnant wife. The paper is rated R. Also opening this weekend is Above the Rim. It's the story of a hotshot high school basketball player who has to fight the temptation of the streets if he hopes to make it out of his neighborhood. What you think they're going to think up at Georgetown about the presents you took? Above the Rim is rated R. Quack is back, Jack! And for the kids this weekend, from Disney, D2, The Mighty Ducks, the sequel to the film about an underdog youth hockey team. And to win this thing, you have to work as one. Now, as one... Skate. Oh, D2 stars Emilio Estevez and is rated G. With now showing, I'm Jack Womack.